Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop along with StyreMopars.com. It is Friday, February 11th, a little after 7 p.m. And uh, we've got a good one for you here, so you're going to want to stick around. It shouldn't be too long either, so that's a, a rare double treat on my end for you. But uh, before we get going, this is totally derailing everything I was attempting to accomplish. I've got a ton of really cool stuff in the organizational front that needs to be released, right? Uh, the problem is there's tool halls prior to those that would totally get spoiled if I released like the organization. We've got like prototype stuff, things you've never seen, all kinds of really cool stuff for you to check out. And my intention was to release a tool hall so we could then release, you know, on a Wednesday, come in and have the organization stuff. This is too good to pass up though. This totally derails what I need to accomplish. I'll stop for applause because I'm doing this for you. Uh, and I also want to pay a tribute here to my awesome Mopar work mat. Uh, these are cool, they still make them, uh, just not in Mopar, sadly, which makes no sense. Uh, it's served me very well, it's been a staple on the channel. Some of you may hate it, some of you are like, oh, I'd focus better if you got rid of that blue and white back there. It ain't going anywhere, but we do have a welcome edition that will only come out for special circumstances. Uh, also, shout out to the very few of you that have actually noticed that I have this Lancer emblem here. 80s K-Car stuff. <laughs> but, uh, are you ready for the big reveal? It's coming in. Three, two, one. That's right. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, that is a huge sticker. And I would agree with you, but based on our little segue there, some of you are like, yeah, that's not a sticker, that's a counter mat. Those of you that said that would be 100% correct, this is a Knipex counter mat. <laughs> you're thinking like, well, what did you do? Did you like take a, a weekend trip to KC Tool and, you know, five finger discount some stuff when they weren't looking? No, uh, as fun as that sounds, that is not the case. Uh, this is also, sadly, this wasn't like sent to me, you know, straight from the Black Forest because I'm super cool. Although that would be great too, uh, and I am super cool, I would consider myself. But this is something any one of you can go pick up. So if you're at a hardware store, the mom and pop style, and you sit there and you're at the counter and you, know, you get really tired, you'll sit down and then if you get really tired waiting, you know, you lean forward and it's not like the 1970s or 80s for mica. You've got like a padded surface. It's probably beat up, you know, off to the side. They have knife keychains that fall apart and over here there's like dusty stuff that you're not even sure what it is. Some sort of a multi-tool that's of equally questionable quality. But what was here, regardless of what shape it's in now, it was a counter mat, right? A lot of suppliers send those out, you know, to distributors, and they're intended to just be a counter mat. Uh, what I intend to do with this is use it for uh, unboxing and showcase videos of, you guessed it, Kinepex pliers. Uh, there's also a very large percentage of you that probably watch this that are going to want to do the same thing. <laughs> and uh, By all means, go ahead. Like I said, this isn't like some ultra exclusive just for me. Uh, if you want this thing, you're just going to have to shell out 19 bucks. Uh, as always in my videos, I have timestamps and links down below. Uh, I should be able to do that for you. But again, this is something you could go right now and purchase. And on that note, I think this flew under the radar. I don't even think like the hardcore Knipex people are probably aware of this. But Knipex Tools, you know, which is the American branch, if you will, they've launched a fan shop for years. Uh, many of the emails I exchanged back and forth with Colin at KC Tool, it's like, man, why can't we get this? If with Knipex, it's in particularly the tropical shirt. Uh, you know, like once you get to be like 50 or 60 or retirement age type of a deal or just super cool and younger, uh, you know, like for me, the pinnacle is like the Daytona and Superbird ones, you know, uh, it looks like the hibiscus Hawaii shirts, but it's got cool cars on it. Kinipex has one that's got like cobras or alligators. And I'm like, I would wear that. I would wear that all the time and I can't purchase it. And it's really sad. And everyone agrees with me. <laughs> and uh, it's something even Colin says, like, you know, he gets customers all the time. They're like, Hey, why can't I get a hat, a shirt, a uh, merch, you know, a shop banner, you know, any of that stuff. And uh, Knipex, I have not checked with KC Tool to see if they're going to stock any of this stuff. They may or may not. I'm not sure. Uh, it would sell if they did, I'm sure. But uh, this is direct from Knipex Tools in America. So this was ordered. They announced this on February 3rd. Uh, February 4th, I placed my order. That would have been last Friday. Uh, it shipped Monday or Tuesday of this week. It's a long way from Texas, and it's here. It came yesterday, the 10th. Uh, so incredibly fast turnaround on this stuff, especially compared to anything else 
particularly race car parts you're trying to order some tools for example <laughs> so super quick turnaround bottom line if you watch this video saturday morning like i hope you do you could place your order and that thing's probably going to leave unless they get like an inundation of orders which hopefully will come back to me and they'll be like hey that guy that sent all these people here we should we should send him something ultra exclusive and at that point we'll upgrade the mat but you could order it saturday there's a good chance you're gonna have it before the end of the week uh, at least if you're in the continental u.s i would assume but uh yeah 19 bucks for this sweet counter mat i will take it some of you it's gonna be like a work surface some of you it's like a novelty item uh some of you might like use it as a drawer liner it would make a great placemat uh, maybe you got the bachelor life going nothing impresses a lady more well, it's valentine's day weekend after all you can't tell me you uh go and pick the chick up bring her back to your place and you you cook dinner and you serve it on a knipex placement if that doesn't seal the deal you need to find somebody that appreciates quality german tools <laughs> so on that note we had to do this one first because let's face it it's a great backdrop for what we're going to do and yes you will be seeing it in the future now if you're sitting here and you're thinking like an Ipex fan shop placemats you know valentine's day a lot of you are probably like, oh my gosh valentine's day never say i didn't look out for you. you you got a few days left although the super bowl's there too so prioritize your time that said let me turn around here and uh, we'll just go i guess in sort of like reverse order price wise this stuff is also super affordable this isn't one of the like super thick bubbly counter mats it's almost more of what I would call like a, a mouse pad. You know, mouse pads used to be pretty thick and then they got thin. This is sort of that same style if it puts it in perspective for you. That's another thing this would be awesome for is you've got a roll cart or a tray or a little cubby, you know, maybe you're the freight manager at work, whatever it might be. You could set a laptop on this or a tablet. You could have space for your mouse. Lots of options for you. Uh, and you can also have a cool customized for you Knipex deal. So. $19 there. This next item is $10.50. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. <laughs> so, let me just have this cascade down, right? White box treatment. Uh, our first product unboxed on this new mat, right? <laughs> and, uh, I'm not sure how well I'm going to like this thing, but I thought, you know what? Let's give her a go. So what we have here is a Knipex flashlight slash multi-tool. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I don't think everything it did when I ordered it. Uh, I've been getting some cheap flashlights from Harbor Freight, and I've actually really liked them. I'm by no means one of those, like, flashlight people, you know, that, like, spends tons of money and gets new models and limited releases. Uh, the cheap stuff's fine. I have the archaic mag light that took, like, D batteries that lasted two weeks. But uh, this thing, basically, if we had the batteries in, that's what those are, uh, you would have your on and your off. It looks like you can zoom, uh, open and close type of a deal. I'm assuming, I, I could be mistaken, but there's this little release latch here. I would guess that's like a glass break deal. I'm not sure while you're going to break with it. Uh, but note, you do have to go back down with the trigger to get it to recess. Uh, on this front, let's just start pulling things out if I can. Always struggle with this type of stuff. Got a bottle opener. That'll please a lot of you. Autobahn Dan, this will probably become a must-have item. <laughs> that's uh we've got the knife there uh let's see here this slot this is like what a nail file and then you can grab some small hex stuff uh next one we've got let me get this up here so i can kind of see it uh looks like uh number one phillips i would say most likely something along those lines not super useful and then of course we have the scissors now, I believe, in my heart of hearts, based on the feel of this thing, and the fact it's a flashlight, it's likely from China. Okay, let's not get like super geeked out, you know, I don't want you thinking like, oh, I've got to buy that thing, German engineer flashlight, multi-tool, it's amazing. Mm, not quite, uh, there, there's your scissors. But what this makes me think of, and then we've got, of course, you know, a little stripper there. It's, Knipex could make crud like this and it would sell. It would sell like hotcakes. Uh, provided the price wasn't like ridiculous, I don't think it would be. But a lot of companies like kind of take this stuff for granted, right? You know, it's like a promotional item. But if you took one that like, I mean, imagine, you know, take like the XS, you know, line and like make the MT version of the Cobra or the pliers wrench. Imagine if you could like slide out some case and you had the Cobra MT for multi-tool. 
right? Uh, I'm telling you, it would sell. Uh, it would be really good, but uh, we'll try to get batteries in here. There's a look at the business end of the flashlight. Uh, and again, $10.50. So I felt like, hey, it's worth taking a gamble on that decent price point. What we have now, and uh, hopefully my dirty gloves don't ruin this, we'll go, I'm not sure which one's which, t-shirts. Crazy thing. You're like, I thought you were going in like, you know, descending order of the most expensive to the least expensive. I am. <laughs> That's where these really shine. Uh, let's see this one. Let me see which one it is and I'll also get you the brand and I'm gonna go in and wash these and start wearing them immediately It's Gildan, which is great. That stuff usually fits me. Well, there's some of these weird t-shirt brands and like you get an extra large in it And it's either a sausage casing or like a tent and you never know which one it's gonna be so this typically works well for me but uh, let me uh, I'll keep the glove on it's just a just a little dirty so, right here, front side, we have got the Kinepex logo on the front left chest, I believe. And this is critical. This is this is what you see. If you see any of Kinepex highlights from like trade shows or anything, you'll see oftentimes the staff members have these shirts. Uh, their official videos, you'll see this. It's pronounced Kinepex. <laughs> Literally. Uh, I still, and this comes from people that have like been watching my videos or other people, German Tool Reviews videos, that guy got roasted uh, by people for this. Uh, it's literally pronounced this way. It's a German word. Just roll with it. If you want to call it something else, that's fine, but don't go about arguing with other people that when they say it this way, they're incorrect. It's on the t-shirt. It has to be factual. You can finally put a nail in the coffin if it's on a t-shirt. Uh, if this is something that interests you as a work shirt, uh, to just run around with to work, uh, Saturday free days to wear in a harbor freight, whatever you want to do, you're looking at $9.75. And sadly, I screwed up because this next shirt was $12.75. Which, if you've priced t-shirts recently, <laughs> you can't get anything for like less than 20-something. It's insane. Uh, one of the shirts I wear the most is a Rock Auto t-shirt that costs like $6.90 or something. <laughs> in part, I'm cheap. In part, I get filthy. And I don't want to, you know, have a $35 t-shirt. So, uh, right there, again, same setup. This one is like a heather gray as opposed to black. And oh, you're gonna like this one. You're really gonna like this one. They even did the part number. Sweet. Okay. There it is. This is cool. Uh, again, I think a lot of you will appreciate this. This is a Cobra with a Cobra and the Kinepex logo. So, in terms of the part number, this looks just like the real deal. Uh, they've got the 8701250 made in Germany. So, very, very cool setup there. Again, for $12.75, I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, big props to Kinepex for keeping the prices in line. You're going to sell a lot of $10 t-shirts. You'll sell a few $20 t-shirts. You're not going to sell very many $35, $40 t-shirts. That's just the way it works. And one of the best things you can do, and I say this from my car club days, is t-shirts. And it doesn't have to be something that you like give away or sell to people, it's advertising. So from Kinepex front, it's smart. And you're like, well, man, they're barely making anything off that, you know. They get the price of the shirt, and then even if you do huge production runs, you know. Some of you have dealt in this stuff, and you would be correct. But when you wear this, and you go in, let's just say Harbor Freight, or you step on the tool truck, or you go to work, and you just have this as what you're knocking around in. People are going to see this, and they're going to be like, what the heck is this idiot wearing? And then they're going to be curious, and they're going to research it. <laughs> they're going to be like, uh, well, I don't know what that word was. It was like knife something X, I don't know, but a cobra was on it. And they're going to find the cobras that way. It's just one of those deals. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I was wearing my AAM t-shirt, uh, whether it be like far away, you know, at a big show or a race or locally, especially locally, it was super weird. Uh, people like read it and they analyze it and they remember it. And they don't say a word to you in person, but then you come home that night and you check your email and you've got like two or three people from that event that said, hey, I saw this t-shirt, you know, talking about your club and I'm interested in it. 
So I would rather err on the side of selling a $10 to $15 shirt versus a $30 shirt because it's going to spread the good word of whatever it is you're pushing, in this case pliers or you know hand tools. Uh, so very, very cool. Again, you've got the pronunciation t-shirt, sub 10 bucks. This guy is going to only set you back $12.75. We got both of those for under $25. Again, if you watch a lot of YouTube, there's a ton of people doing merch. These are like terrible t-shirts a lot of these people sell and they're trying to get like 30 35 bucks for them <laughs> it's crazy you could basically have three of these or four of those i mean figure it out for yourself but i'm gonna go this route it seems to be like i said good quality shirt uh, this one is gildan as well i believe nope this one is district lines some people like that they will fit a little different uh, but it does feel like good material and the screen printing is solid as far as I can tell It's not like one of those stupid, you know Trashy vinyl transfers that's gonna come off the second time you wash it <laughs> So very cool on that front uh, Coming in next and it's gonna tie in really well with this thing right here is going to be an item in a bag Oh, Easy open it seems Let me uh, try to get this without screwing it up <laughs> There's some more items in the bag. What if I told you, if you love this, if this is the greatest thing you have seen, if you're just spazzing out and you're scrolling down and you've already placed an order, stop. Don't do that. <laughs> Check it out and you're sitting there like a Christmas tree ornament. Well, technically it could be. Uh, you could hang this down from your rear view mirror. That way when you're in traffic and the car in front of you breaks down, they'll be like, oh, this guy looks scary. But then they zoom in, you know, with their phone in the rear view, and they're like, wait, are those Knipex Cobras? He could probably fix my car. <laughs> and, uh, this is a keychain. So, again, lots of stuff you could do with this. You could put a magnet pad on the back of it, stick it on your toolbox. Uh, you could use it as a keychain. Shocking, I know. You could uh, use it as a charm bracelet, you know, for that special lady that comes and is impressed by your Knipex placemat. Uh, the sky is the limit there with your creativity. What I want to do is try to get one open because, yes, I bought two of them. They were that good. Again, the price point $4.75. So, uh, once more, you know, you could charge $15, $20 bucks for this keychain, but then how many people are actually going to buy it? I would rather have 10 people with this keychain than one guy with it, you know, is my logic as a business operative. Uh, this might even be slightly more detailed, but it's the exact same thing. Let me. That's why the glove is here for the black backing. We're gonna zoom in. <laughs> this is really cool. And it's die cut too. Like, see how my finger goes in there? This isn't like some cheap little plastic thing. This is uh, some metal construction, so that's pretty sweet. But again, if you wanted to, you know, take this and just put adhesive on the back, a magnet, you can use that on your toolbox. That's spoiler alert why I bought two of them. Figured one could be a keychain, the other we'd like have as a Toolbox charm? Is that a thing? Did we just start a new trend? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, super cool in my opinion. And I believe that will bring me to the very last item. And are you sitting down? You're thinking like, hey, you were you said that was $4.75. What could you possibly get that would cost less than that? Well, what if I told you? I got four of them. Big baller here. <laughs> Big budget, 69 cents a piece. I hope the pin doesn't suck. I'm kind of banking on it not, but uh, I have pins all over the place. I always have to, you know, track one down. I usually have them in screwdriver stands here at this workbench, uh, and then those little U.S. Generals I bought. I always have a little Ghidorah pin, and then I lose it. And so I'm th sitting there, and I saw these, and it's 69 cents. That's kind of right in line uh, with what KC Tool charges for the Stavila and Ghidorah pins that I always pick up. Uh, I still prefer the way the Ghidorah one writes personally, but yeah, it's just a Knipex pin. It's got a pocket clip in black. It's sort of like a, you know, plastic aluminum type construction. And I suppose we need to flip this over and see, what do you think? Is it red ink, black ink, blue ink? I think blue would make sense being Knipex in their colors, given the red is a little bit bright. I'm going to say I think it's black. I've not checked, so I don't know. Yep, it's black. There you go. Uh, so black ink, that's a could be a make or break for some of you. I uh, can't really go, go wrong. It is the classic choice color there, right? But yeah, four pins, 69 cents a piece. Keychains, 475. The Cobra, 
<laughs> tandem t-shirt there, you're looking at $12.75. The It's Pronounced Canipex is going to set you back $9.75. And then the counter mat, nine, uh, $19. And what did I do with the flashlight? It's under here somewhere. What we will do is dig out these batteries and I guess we will try to talk and do this simultaneously. So we're trying to grab the NWS knife. I'd get the Cutex, but it's over there uh, cutting down a ton of boxes last night. So the batteries are a little scary. They're kind of a cool aesthetic, really, red and white. Uh, XL Energy. Let's see here. Ningai Hangwai Battery Company. Yes. Screams of quality. <laughs> but uh, the main thing, uh oh, I'm not sure I'm going to find that one. The main thing I want to uh, have you take away from this whole flashlight thing is would you buy? Like, I'm talking a legit, you know, it's not going to be cheap, but it couldn't be like super crazy expensive. But if there was like one of these with, oh, tread carefully, Ballastal. Don't want to spill that. <laughs> Uh, oh no, there it is. Let me work my magic back here. Got her. All right. If Kinepex made a legit multi tool, you know, that had like Kinepex quality pliers uh, involved, you know, or a knife or whatever, is that something you would actually pay for? Like, let's just theoretically say it's going to set you back, like, and people pay a ton of money for these, and I'm not one of those people, but. If it was good enough and it had the right tools, I could see 50 bucks. Like, you get far past that, and I'm not really interested. <laughs> but uh, anything up to that point, I think I would kind of be of the mindset, like, hey, let's give this a go. So, can't seem to get that thing off of me, so we'll just roll with it. I'm assuming this would open up the battery compartment. And we've got to figure out what goes where. <laughs> um strange oh wow this this apparently houses three batteries like i said if this is normal i don't know about it uh, i'm not one of those flashlight people so uh let's see it's very difficult <laughs> to to read anything on this but you just have to assume that you know it's universal and you put the negative side to the spring so that's what we're gonna go with it's kind of a cool little cartridge really uh, very practical. I'm not sure you maybe couldn't have done and accomplished the same thing with a, a lesser battery, but I guess if you had like a higher output battery, you'd also have like a higher cost. All right, so we will uh, not quite remember what way that went. Let me test it up here. <laughs> it's a 50 50 shot if this is in right or not. Yeah, we nailed it. Totally not edited. So yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and dial this in. Not bad. Again, I don't have fancy stuff to compare this to. I've literally been super impressed with like that $7 one from Harbor Freight with like pin size. So I am not by any means, you know, going to be an authority on flashlights, but I mean, you tell me, I think it's going to be okay. So uh, it looks like we can sort of dial it in a little bit. Um, I don't exactly understand what that means. Zoom out and zoom in. Uh, looks like it would be a touchpad, but it's clearly not. Uh, I did see China on this, so uh, regardless, for 1050, you get kind of a cool little put it in your glove box or center console thing. You've got the knife, a bottle opener, you've got scissors, uh, you've got a glass break, you've got something truly that might be one of I guess cut a seat belt is what it would be intended for in this case, but. Yeah, I mean, it feels decent in hand, and at $10.50, pretty solid buy. Oh, there's a strobe mode, okay. So, if you're getting ambushed by someone, you could uh, turn that on and have a good time, I suppose. I'm trying to see what else this does. Okay. <laughs> we can make some uh, cool Halloween videos with this, I believe. But yeah, I'm going to set that down. I'm going to get inside, start my dinner. Uh, I do have to now edit uh, this video as well and get it uploaded, which is really the slowdown because my internet sucks. But Kinipex has a fan shop, a swag shop, a merch drop, whatever you want to call it. It's based in America. 
like I said, I ordered this stuff, and when I say I ordered it the 4th, I'm talking like after midnight type of a deal. That's when I do my magic, so saw it on the 4th, boom, here we are. Uh, very quick turnaround on this stuff, so I will also tell you there is way, way more stuff on the site. If you want jackets, sweatshirts, like it's basically, it's Knipex branded, and you can kind of pick what it goes on. Uh, it's sort of like, think of this as like a second party, you know, like merchandise shop. So they've got the logo, they authorize it, and then you kind of pick what it goes on. So this stuff was standard, you know, the t-shirts, but like if you wanted for some reason a uh, Carhartt type jacket with a Knipex logo, if you wanted like a puffer sweater thing that people wear with a Knipex logo, you can do that. Uh, and the prices are actually very reasonable in my opinion, even on that sort of like higher, higher tiered stuff there. So... Super awesome that Kinepex did this. I personally am thrilled about it. Uh, I think it was a great decision. Um, I think something that's going to be very, very well received by you, the person watching this video, which is exactly why we derailed everything I had lined up and wouldn't have had to put forth any more effort tonight than just scheduling a video and calling it a night. But this was too cool for not expediting it, right? I think you agree with me. Uh, hopefully you stuck around and uh, can say, yeah, you were, you were definitely right to do this. We sincerely appreciate you and your efforts. <laughs> so, uh, regardless, like I said, the t-shirts are awesome, the keychains, whatever you want to do with them, super cool. The pins are very reasonable. Uh, if you're into this sort of thing, it's actually fairly practical theming, again, for your, you know, car or truck. Uh, the counter mat, some of you, that's going to be a hit, you know, either like display purposes or just utility, you know, you use those. Uh, the mouse pad thing comes to mind. Uh, and then, like I said, for a little small minority of you, you're probably going to go buy that and then you're going to showcase a Knipex product, you know, uh, like this or like the twin grips over here, which are always on the bench, uh, or the Cutex, and you're going to make your videos on it. And that's fine, but hopefully someone will be like, hey, you know, thanks to that guy, you know, Lance over at Lone Star Mopars, I found this. People usually don't give credit, but uh, it's fine. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but, uh, yeah, super cool. Uh, would I love to, and here's the deal, like, Hazette has a really nice fan shop, but it's like it's in Germany, you know, and then you get, like, a few things here and there from, like, Ghidorah and stuff. This is stuff people would buy. <laughs> I don't think, like, there's something that gets lost in translation between, like, America and Germany and America and Japan and... Uh, it's like, oh, why would anyone care about that? Like, no, it will sell. Like, all you have to do is have it stocked. I mean, KC Tool, they try so many times, so many years to, like, get stuff like this because why they know it would sell. <laughs> so, uh, if you order anything, uh, there's a little, you know, comment box or something. If you've got ideas, or if you're like me, you know, you don't have to acknowledge me there, whatever you want to do, but please, if you agree with me, Tell Knipex you want to see the, like, the Tropical Cobra shirt, you know, because <laughs> if we get that, I will buy that, and it will be awesome, and I think many of you would agree there, so uh, they do have the comment box. Make sure you leave your thoughts, what you would like to see, whether it's like a shop banner, magnets for your toolbox, anything. Throw the ideas out there. They've created it. <laughs> they might be receptive to new additions, so... Uh, I'm thrilled with this. The prices are phenomenal. Again, I think a lot of you will be, too, so... In terms of what we've got going on, I've got, like I said, tons and tons, like months through the summer worth of video content. And a lot of it is organization and tool storage stuff. Some of it is like super, super cool, you know, prototypes like I told you. I don't like say this stuff and it doesn't exist. It's here. <laughs> it's real. Uh, the problem is like I've made videos with some of that stuff and I need like what I put on it which in hindsight, I should have just used old Craftsman stuff, you know, because it's like if I showcase the new product, I've screwed up the tool hall, right? It's kind of spoiled it. Uh, granted, not as many people watch the storage stuff, but you still like it to be a surprise. Keep it interesting, which is what this was. Totally unexpected. Uh, came out of left field and right field and converged at uh, the 20 yard line, right? Is that confusing? But uh, it's super awesome. Let Kinimpex know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will catch you back here next Saturday. I hope you have a fantastic week. Enjoy the Super Bowl, Valentine's Day. If you can't impress the ladies with Kinimpex swag and the placemat, 
find someone else, like I said. But uh, LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. Once again, have a great weekend. I hope I will catch you back here midweek and Saturday for more action from the shop.